Hi everybody, this is Dr. Michael Richman, double board certified cardiothoracic surgeon. So I wanna to talk to you for a few minutes about atherosclerosis. So atherosclerosis occurs when cholesterol is deposited in the artery walls, leading to a narrowing. So if it's in the heart arteries, it causes a heart attack or death, or if it's in the arteries that go up to your brain, you can have a stroke. So atherosclerosis has been around for thousands of years. And unfortunately, you see all over social media, people telling you to buy their book or to take this supplement and you can clean out your arteries. Believe me, that is all false. If there was a way to do it, I would certainly know and I would certainly be doing it myself. But what we can do is slow progression or stop progression. In other words, keep it from getting worse. So atherosclerosis, as I said, it's been around for thousands of years. How do we know this? Well, in 1973, for example, there was a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine where they did autopsies of Vietnam War veterans who died. The median age in that study was 22 years old, and they found that 73% of the dead actually had significant blockages in their heart arteries. Then in 2013 at the American College of Cardiology meeting, uh, something called the Horace study was presented, and they did CT scans of 137 mummies. And lo and behold, they found that 34% of these mummies, and they came from Egypt, Peru, Southern America, and the Aleutian Islands. Um, so 34% of them had significant blockages in their coronary arteries. And these mummies spanned 3,000 years. And guess what? Some of them were vegan, and they were women and children. So atherosclerosis is not a disease of men who smoke and eat Dairy Queen. It starts right after birth and is progressive. So what can we do? Well, I call it the three L's. We can keep your cholesterol low for a long time and that will equal life. So you should have your cholesterol tested when you're young and if it's high, you take medications and do lifestyle changes so you can live longer. So I hope you learned something and I hope you have a great evening. Thanks.